Thrifting ain't easy, unless you're watching me. Welcome! You're watching the Thrift Store Rundown, where we bring Hollywood home on a budget. We just had a massive rainstorm outside, and while it was pretty ugly to witness, if you care enough about just the position as much as I do, it actually seems kind of fitting. For it being ugly on the outside, we're here inside, finding ways to make you feel and look pretty. Oh, so pretty. And not just that, but pretty as a moving picture, because that's how we roll. There are so many ways to look and feel pretty. Inside out, outside in. There are also ways to make your environment feel and look pretty. We're going to explore a few of those ways today, and we start from the inside out by getting pretty delicious with lean and lovely recipes for a healthy, happy new you by Candice Kumai. This is a cookbook. And if you don't know who Candice Kumai is, I assure you, she's got a lot of mileage on TV and in print. Making healthy cooking sexy again. As a fan favorite from season one of Top Chef, as the food expert on TLC's Homemade Simple, and closer to my childhood, as co-host of Lifetime's Cook Yourself Thin. This Rolldale publication was picked up for $5.99 from home base here in Patterson, Unique Thrift Store. I'm going to turn the floor over to Candice to explain Pretty Delicious in her own words. Hi, I'm Candice Kamai, the newest member to the Rodale family of cookbooks. And I recently wrote a book called Pretty Delicious. It's about lean and lovely recipes for a happy and healthy new you. It's about a serious issue called your health. It's 2011 people, and that means it's time for change. Change because you've been eating chemical-laden, heavily processed artificial foods for the last 30 years. It's time to get serious about your health and your family's health. Now this book is a happy and fun way for you to learn how to get better food into your diet and your families. So I strongly urge you to take charge this year of making that change and take action. Clean out your fridge, make over your pantry, do whatever you need to do to get real foods back into your diet. There are some things in life that you just shouldn't mess with and one of them happens to be food. Keep it happy and healthy and cheers to a lean and lovely new you in 2011. Now that is pretty delicious. Before we get to the recipes, I, like Candice, would like to give a major shout out to Fish's Eddie. If you don't know what Fish's Eddie is, it's a title where store to the stars, really, in New York. They serve a fine and funky collection of plates, dishes, cups, silverware, you name it, they have it. They contributed the props for this book, and for their efforts, they received an autographed copy with a heartfelt note of gratitude from Candice. Now, it's kind of custom, but I can read it. Thank you for all the years of props and love. I adore you all to pieces, and let's all make beautiful work together. Muto Props, you guys are the best. My fave place for props, hands down. Duh? Etso, etso, Candace. Now, this is definitely an autographed copy, but as you now know, it wasn't for a comic book fan. It was for the fans of Candace and Fish and Eddie, who helped make this book extra pretty. Whoever walked at Fish's Eddie and donated this book here to North Jersey's Unique, I join with Candace in giving them a heartfelt thank you because in the not so grand scheme of healthy cookbooks and cookbook crushes, this is a pretty courageous act. Retail prices, 30 bucks in the US, 4 bucks 50 cents more in Canada. And the recipes themselves are divided into the following chapters. The usual suspects. Breakfast and brunches, minis and munchies, soups and salads, sandwiches and wraps, or skinny witches and wraps. We have vegan and vegetarian courses. We have pasta recipes. We got lean protein recipes. We got desserts, healthy and indulgent, and a pampered pantry. Those are edible recipes for skin care. Well, somewhat edible, as long as you don't eat them. They're meant for skin care. <laughs> And along the way, you get to learn more about foods with benefits, foods with added nutritional punch, foods that give back to you and your body, as Candace says. So let's get started. We have here a creamy tomato soup, creamy in quotation marks because 
In place of cream, Candace uses non-fat plain Greek yogurt, a quarter of a cup, plus extra to garnish. The food would benefit in here? Well, that's up front and center. Tomatoes. This serves four. You get nutritional stats for each and every recipe in here. You get a good amount of photographs for almost all the recipes in here. And as an added bonus, there are some companion video clips that go along with a few of the recipes, at least a few that I'm highlighting today, along with a couple of bonus recipes that don't have any companion clips. The ones that do will be linked downstairs via her Vimeo channel. If you haven't heard of Vimeo, it's kind of like semi-YouTube, but really more from a business standpoint. This is Miso Gorgeous Glazed Salmon, which again serves four, and the food would benefit here, salmon! Chock full of omega-3s, and even I hear it's kind of an aphrodisiac kind of thing. And speaking of aphrodisiac, well, we'll talk more about that and a couple more recipes down the road. But here we have the Hollywood Burger. Now, it's served animal style. And animal style in Hollywood would mean in between a couple of large bib lettuce leaves, like they do at In-N-Out, which is one of the most popular burger chains in the country, mainly SoCal-based. It's called the Hollywood Burger, according to Candace, because it's healthy, unique, and stylish. I'd say it fits all three criteria nobly well, and again, that will serve four. It's definitely a California burger if you got avocados, too. Oh, yeah. Guess which meat was used for this burger? That's right. Lean ground turkey. Preferably a pound of white meat. Now that's a SoCal burger. And now, on to a date night knockout whack of lamb. Oh, yeah. Appropriately, this serves too. And for a date night recipe, that just mandates that I read Candace's caption in full. I love lamb chops, but man, are they expensive. So I whip up this recipe exclusively for date nights. They're totally sexy on the plate. Lean, full of bold flavor, and fun to eat for your fingers. All definitely date prerequisites. For an extra sleek presentation, get your butcher to French the whack, meaning all the meat is scraped off the bones. Serve this with quinoa or eggplant, mushroom, and spitted sauté on page 195. Which is actually 10 pages over if you can't eat. A date night knockout rack of lamb. If it's a date night recipe, it's definitely a TSR highlight. You know me, always trying to preach without really preaching the importance of cooking at home for the love of your life or the love of your life elect. Anyone can go out to dinner and you still get lots of compliments. But if you're looking to take things the extra mile, whip something special up at home. We're no fools. If we do it at home, we're about to get a lot more than just lots of compliments, Seth John. Another private sample would be from uh, Selena Gomez's new boyfriend, Betty Blanco, where now the music producer has a cookbook of his own and says that whipping up a nice steak dinner is key to getting a lot more than just lots of compliments. Anyway, this could also be a key factor for you. So I just had to include that in here as a, a bonus recipe. This is sexy Swiss chard with golden raisins and pumpkin seeds. I have no shame if you pair this up alongside the lamb recipe, because of the name alone, sexy Swiss chard with golden raisins and pumpkin seeds. This sub sits, however, so you have plenty of leftovers. But, if you look at the companion video clip for this on Candice's Vimeo channel, where she did like a whole series of companion clips for these recipes, calling this a video cookbook, you would think for a moment that uh, Swiss Chard exclusively belongs to Buddy Rabbits if they want to get in the mood and procreate. Just watch the clip. You've probably seen this before in the grocery store and you're wondering, well, I'm not going to buy that leaf because it's just another green for Bunny Rabbits. Well, let me tell you, those sexy bunny rabbits are hot. Who, for the love of mankind or animal kind, calls bunny rabbits hot? Never mind sexy. I will give Candace's argument on that some legitimacy with only one example. Lola Bunny. Space Jam and the Looney Tunes show. Really more Space Jam than the Looney Tunes show. As far as Bugs Bunny goes, for the inquisitive type, yeah, he's sexy in his snarkiness. Any other bunny would be cause for concern. I did laugh 
profusely when she said that. <laughs> and I hope you'll agree with me if you watch those clips that Candace is pretty delicious in her own right. She's pretty sexy. Hence why she makes healthy cooking sexier again. Um, the salmon recipe was paired alongside the ginger soy baby bok choy. And even though it's sans photograph, I just had to include that as another bonus recipe. Next up, we have here Beverly Hills fries with honey cube sauce to pair alongside the Hollywood burger. Then made with sweet potatoes so you get that added nutritional benefit. It's a food with benefit. An FWB, as Candace says. And finally, homemade chocolate peanut butter crunch cups. For the occasional indulgence. That'll make about 20, a very generous amount to treat yourself or gift to family and friends so that they can treat themselves too. It's only fair if everybody you love says in the indulgence. You get a whole list of foods with benefits here at the beginning of the recipe, along with tips for saving money while cutting calories. So all in all, this is a very chic yet quite thorough book to use. If anything, it's just pretty nice to look at. But what about Candace? <laughs> hey, I told you she was pretty sexy. I meant it. This got a couple of rave reviews from Senior Food and Nutrition Editor for Health Magazine, Francis Lodgman Roth, and Andy Cohen of Bravo TV. And now it gets a rave review from me, based largely on the autograph here for Fish is Eddie. It may not be an autograph for a common folk fan, but an autograph is an autograph. And if it's custom made by the celebrity du jour, I can't help but give it that edge. I really can't, however, give it the maximum score of five claps because, again, this is not a common folk fan acknowledgement, and to that end, there is no general acknowledgement of the fans in the announcement section, even though Candace was a fan favorite on the first season of Top Chef. Accordingly, it will get four and a half out of five. But still, not too shabby for the self-proclaimed stiletto chef, whose heels were definitely made for walking into New Horizons. The same can be said of you. So what are you waiting for? No time is a good time to let it rain on your parade to better health. So no time is a bad time to get pretty delicious. Thanks for tuning in. Just so you know, there's no limit to Brady Hollywood Home on a budget. Please go ahead and check out another awesome review like this one by clicking here. And make sure you subscribe by clicking here. Until next time, I'll catch you, as I always do, on the flip side.